Oh, okay. Never mind. Here's my edit. All right. I'm going to let you guys are going to hear everything. So, you know, no surprise there. Admitting. <laughs> Admitting iPhone. <laughs> How's it do? Is it player? Hey, hey, what's up, man? Let's see if we can get video going. Let's go. Oh, he's in his car. <laughs> oh, brother, we're we're stranded in a in an emotional sense. Uh, in a literal sense, there was a hotel found. So we're heading to a place that will hopefully have Wi-Fi. Yeah, we can step up the quality a little bit, you know. Hey, it's all good. You're here. You're now, and and the band's with you, so you're good. The band's with me, man. I got it on headphones. They don't have to hear about the nonsense. But everyone's <laughs> hanging. Awesome. I love those glasses. Uh let me get you centered up here and then we'll get we'll we'll pull you on. Sounds good to me, man. All right, hold on. Are you coming to the village idiot tomorrow? I'm going to try. I have to work like twelve hours beforehand. So I I, oh, I don't know if I'll have the strength or the fortitude to do it, but I I am going tonight because my friends I, I gotta do some filming up there. Uh but um yeah, that's not that's not tomorrow, obviously. So yes, I, I you better bring your drinking shoes if you're coming. Let's get weird. I love that place. <laughs> no, I love the Village Idiot too. Uh, okay, so I got you set up on my end. So uh, all right, guys, uh, everybody, get put your hands together for today's guest, the funky front man, the sol- the, the the soulful guy from the soulful Cincy player oh my god this is getting worse all right guys this is nasty dog Mel! oh shit waters there we go there he is there he is hey there he is there he is all right so Matt, uh, thank you so much for making it in uh, and, and bringing your band along. And, and so, so you're stranded right now. And hi, Bon Bon, welcome in, welcome in, Bon Bon. Hello, hello, Bon Bon. Bon Bon, yes, Bon Bon is here. <laughs> uh, so, so where are you stranded at? So we're actually in in your part of the world. We're up like near Toledo. Oh, okay. And we had an Airbnb for the next two days at. I was walking up to the front door, and it sounds like they were having a party. And I was like, all right, this is a little mysterious. <laughs> so I called her, and she's like, yeah, I let some other people extend their stay in another four days. Uh, I can give y'all a camper if you want somewhere to stay. <laughs> and we were like, nope, this doesn't seem like you're a very trustable figure. We're uh, looking for hotels. So we've been sitting outside this Airbnb, and now oh. we're stuck at a train. So it's going. <laughs> that sounds like Toledo, bro. <laughs> Yeah, dude, this sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man! All right, we're getting it's the same train we we hit before. Oh my god, dude! I, I hate the Toledo trains, man. It, it's just the worst. I don't even think y'all are exporting anything, man. I, no, I no, it, it, no. Seriously, <laughs> it's literally just to uh, hold up traffic. It, it's literally just to make people more miserable being up here. So yeah, it's uh, well. It, at least they're doing it gracefully, then. Job success. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I I'm sorry that you're that you're dealing with that. That sucks ass. Uh, I I can't. Oh, I can believe that a Toledo Airbnb would do that. I, I stayed in a like we did a staycation here, me and my wife, and like the 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 Airbnb gave us a bad review because we didn't. <laughs> yeah, they gave us a bad review because we didn't clean the place like spotless. Like like I don't know what they wanted. Like we we like took out the gra- the garbage. We put all the towels in a certain area. We put the blankets off. You know, like we did the things that they asked. And then they said, yeah. and then they said, well, so they gave us a bad review and was like, well, they didn't clean the whole house. And it's like, are you serious? You want me to like, you want me to get out the steam cleaner or something? You want me to fucking, <laughs> you want me to scrub this, the grout? You know, like what, what, what is it that I, we could have done to make this better? Because that, that, that's really fucking, and that lady had to be crazy. Her checkout time. Yeah. And it was 10 a.m. checkout. So that, yeah. that's when you get really held, man. We're always asking at eleven thirty, like, "Hey, you cool with like a one o'clock thing?" They're exactly. Like, Absolutely not. It's like, we're gonna be here for a little while, unfortunately. <laughs> yes, we're here. We're we're staying. But I didn't wet back your carpet. Yeah, I got down and dirty. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's crazy how some of these Airbnbs are, and and I don't know if it's just a Toledo thing, man. Because uh, 
you know, I, 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 I have a love hate relationship with this this city because it's like my buddy said it the best. He said it was uh, the the city that over promises and under delivers, and it's like I, I don't think that there's a better way of describing this 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 environment. <laughs> it's just such I think a people weird. stop listening to the offers though. That's a nice thing. It's like Akron has a claim to fame. They got some nice celebrities. Yeah. Toledo ain't doing that yet. We we hope you pop off. <laughs> you'll probably have to move again, bro. <laughs> <laughs> No. They know your IP address. They're suppressing it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. They they definitely are. It, it, no. It, we, wait. Wait. But first of all, hold on. We got we got uh, Jamie Farr. Okay. We got Jamie, Jamie Farr. Jamie Farr. He's from Mash. He was the 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 trans guy from Mash. Um, I, oh. I, I don't I don't know if you can call him a cross dresser anymore. I don't know if that's okay to say cross dresser. Uh, but he, I think you got to read the the script for that. Yeah. Let's go with what they. Whatever they're saying now, I don't know. But but and then and then and then we got Katie Holmes. Don't forget about Katie Holmes now. She was married to Tom Cruise for a little bit. I, so. say, I don't know who Katie Holmes is. I barely know who Tom Cruise is. I just know it looks nice in a jumpsuit, man. But I'm not he's not getting my 20 bucks. I'm pirating that movie for sure. <laughs> <laughs> right? No, yeah, yeah, I don't I don't care to watch that movie. It, apparently it's good though. Apparently it's good. I I don't know though. Uh it's it's just and like, my my mother binge watched the Top Guns to go see it. I was like, okay, I see the hype, I see what's going on here. He's still doing his own stunts, risking his life. I like that. No, I mad respect to Tom Cruise for for uh, putting himself out there, breaking. I think he broke his foot pretty bad or something during one of his yeah. stunts. So you know, good on him. I guess he's like uh, he's like eighty five and just still rocking. He looks good. He looks Rocking good. the stem cell treatment. You know he's getting treated. Oh, he, yeah. He's getting <laughs> artificially enriched. A lot of power in his diet. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> every time I – it just always reminds me of that South Park where Christopher Reeves is – I don't know if you're a fan of South Park, but he's like – he's taking he's taking fetuses and he's just like, – and he's, oh. <laughs> he's sucking out the essence of fetuses to uh, to sustain his ability to walk. Uh, if you know who Christopher Reeves <laughs> is, I suppose. But uh, anyways. Dude, there goes South Park again, knowing us just the craziest way you're allowed to visually go about this in a cartoon. Yeah, no, they, they definitely hit on some some uh, interesting stuff. Uh, and they, they they stay so current and and man even their latest uh, even their latest like Paramount movies are really really good. I don't know how they stay fresh, man, but they they kill it, man. They kill it. And yeah, I, I just pay attention to nothing but the show. I'm sure. Yeah. Over the outside world, but how, how do you turn around an episode like that in a week? Yeah, well, I mean, it, it seems, I mean, it, obviously you've seen that that documentary. What is it? Six days till air or something like that. I've not seen that. I've heard oh. about it through my my tour manager. Ah, okay. So, okay. My boy Jordan. I I, I was Shout just Jordan in the back. Hey, tour manager. <laughs> yeah. Is, is he worth the money? Is this is what I want? Absolutely. Wanted. Yeah, he's worth every penny. A hundred percent. Just to have somebody there for for the everything needs. He is the man. Yo, I I mean, I've I've I've. Wait, hold on. You got your sunglasses on. I feel like I need to get mine on. Ready? Yeah. Strap up, bro. <laughs> And he's like the applied nice. That was mysterious. <laughs> Are we going for triple layers? Oh, yeah, we got triple lens on the Hold on, okay. watch. I don't know if you can see this, but boom. And now and now my little guy has sunglasses. So there we go. We're all sunglassed up. We're we're good to go. This is this balling out of control. You got presets on presets, Doug. <laughs> Yo, we don't fuck are, around. Are you, are you big balling in OBS? You no, I'm I'm big balling in, in uh, uh, Streamlabs OBS. So. Oh man, that's the expensive shit. Okay, cool, it's cool. it's it's Just... n- it's not the expensive stuff. Honestly, <laughs> well, no, because there's this like uh, there's this like uh, battle between OBS and and slobs is what you know the industry people call it. You know, right. us in the industry call it slobs. Uh, God, yeah, I know. Uh, Keep your acronyms yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it is like the worst acronym. Acronym. All I could like anytime we hear slobs, all I'm like seeing is is like a, a really graphic porno of some girl like <laughs> and they're, like eyeliner running and shit. Like that's literally all the visual. All I see. But uh, but now that you spoiled us all like that, I guess it's the only uh, you're going to have to make a gift and just upload it. Get over it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Claim the team. Claim <laughs> Put it. On the t-shirt. Claim it. Claim it. 
Uh, no, but but there's like this this thing with uh, OBS and and Streamlabs that it's like um, Streamlabs. I guess they they went to OBS and was like, hey, we want to do something. Uh, like you, like what you're doing, and they didn't really give the blessing, and then Streamlabs did it anyways, and then they called themselves Streamlabs OBS, and so like there's this there's this feud, and even people who use OBS and Streamlabs, they have this little thing against each other. It's nerdy streamer shit, man. It's just like incels fighting <laughs> amongst themselves. You know, it's just it's it's just ridiculous. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Man, digital warfare is going there. I it, mean, <laughs> it's happening. The whole world is going digital warfare, man. Like we're we're there's there's a war out for your mind. You know, I mean, <laughs> it, there really is. There really is a war out there of digital in the digital realm for people's attention, for people's opinion, for people's uh, sway. You know, it. it it's really yeah. it's really strange right now man it, it's uh it, it, how do you deal with you know you're 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 an uh, you're an actor i was about to say an actor uh you're you're a uh, a performer you're a musician you're a content creator how do you manage your your online absorption and like how do you absorb cuz uh, cuz we as performers as like i'm a streamer podcaster so i'm constantly on line like it becomes like that that idea is like um you know this is part of my job so i need to be on here you know what i mean which is mm -hmm. which is true but then there's this line that gets sort of blurred where it's like you know I, i'm absorbing all this crazy information and like you know all this horrible things going on in the world and also i'm posting me like at the gig like hey guys look at me it's a how do you manage that how do you balance it or do you not balance it is it just all out of hand is it just out the window i, I think it's you just gotta delegate you know you, you only got so much time to consume yourself and if you just spend all day like you know we, we all waste a lot of time scrolling mm -hmm. that you just kind of forget in the day but you could be doing a lot more productive things if your phone was on do not disturb me and get away from it so i'm trying to learn to delegate certain aspects of the uploading and uh, the creation of the content and then on the other side of that when it comes like whatever stream you consume from it is going to be jaded and have its biases like if you interact with people in the real world you kind of get uh you can get into those and start to start to redigest this content but um i feel like if all you do is keep watching these really drastic sources online it's kind of confusing as to what's going on and what you should care about and what the trends are for for music or for art you know you just got to be down to um what you're doing with the people that are actually in your life you know participating whether that's online or in person yeah. like in a meaningful way yeah man that i mean like you said you're working on it so i imagine that you're that that you you struggle a bit with it absolutely it's it's I think when you delegate, when you got good people in your life, you can kind of assess the the stuff going on in the macro while still only having to get your, your hands dirty on the stuff that you're really good at. Yeah. Because also it's like, you know, if I'm making all this content, like my videography skills aren't great, you know, my editing skills aren't great, but we're doing the music well. So we got to do a little bit of all of it. Mm. But once you get to a certain point, like accept the, accept the scale growth, uh, that how much improvement you can make with so much effort and we just need to bring somebody in. Yeah. Yeah, man. It, 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 so, so you're, you're in that mode. You're, you're at that point where you need to delegate stuff and, and, and you're where, where, because what happens a lot of times is people will take on everything themselves and people can manage it. And some people do it really well, but I don't know, some people, you know, you know, not that you couldn't do it really well, but you know what your strengths are. Uh, so, so when, when, what point in your career were you like, I need, other i need help with this shit like when was it that you were like hey what point were you at in your career and like what was the precipice that sort of led you into that i think finding people willing to do it was the first time i realized i could it's like an, until that person's in your life that that you can trust with stuff or who wants to take it to the next level and just kind of handle aspects of it like then you start to realize the you can you can grow your capacity as uh as, as like a, a participant in the content field, especially if you're trying to do music at a high level, it's like, there's, there's no way I can make the music videos without having a director that I really trust yeah. and, and kind of bouncing around and that and, and same things when it comes to like managing the tours and making the content on the road, managing the podcast. Hmm. 
but until there's someone to, to help with that stuff, you never believe that someone have any interest in it or that you can afford to pay somebody to do it. Yeah, man. It, 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 I'm not there. I just like, it, even though my podcast is doing well and all that, like, I just, I, I don't have, <laughs> I do want other people you know, to take... people watching, they're not donating. Come on, people put money <laughs> in the man's bucket. He needs, he needs an assistant and they need to have some kind of camaraderie going on. That's high cost. No, it, it, no, they, they do, they do fine. Well, that That's okay. Cool, cool. Like, you know, it, I'm not, I'm not sitting here, but thank you for that. Thank you for that. It, it, yeah. it, it makes, it's, it's easier for <laughs> my guests to beg for money than me. So it's like, please, please, everybody. You're too proud to beg, sweet darling. <laughs> I, no, no, I, uh, they, they, they treat me good. They treat me good here on Twitch yeah, and, yeah. and in sponsorships is, is Nah, it's okay. I hate that. That's the worst Last part. Last time we it. talked, you had me very motivated to get on the Twitch game, man. I, I could not figure it out yet. We will have to talk again. Well, I, I think I think that there, you know, it's not for everybody, and not to say that it's not for you, because I really I dig your weekly wave thing. I like that you you got your own podcast, and like I, yeah. you know, a, a place on Twitch or even streaming on YouTube or something is uh, I, I think it would be cool for you since it's like a. Uh, you know, you have so much to your to your name. You know, you you you're a great talker. You you're a great interviewer, or at least conversationalist. Uh, you're a fantastic performer. Obviously, that's what you do. You got a, a hot band, so uh, you know, like you're doing a lot. You're doing a lot, and I think encompassing all of that into a place where people can come and hang out and build community is great. You know, would be cool and would sure. be beneficial. Uh, but yeah, man, it, I, I feel like um, there's there's some there's some artists on Twitch who are really killing it in both worlds. So uh, this one mm -hmm. streamer, her name's Raquel Lilly, and she is just murdering the game right now. She's on a tour all summer, but she gets Airbnbs and she streams from her Airbnbs with her like with That's her. That's killer, dude. She's fuck. She's raking it in too. She's like murdering the game. She's like she's right now. She's in Los Angeles, and she's uh she linked up with other streamers. It's like TikTokers. You know how like TikTokers will all get together and link up and do mm -hmm. dances together. They rent out mansions and shit, and they'll like do their little dances together and and collaborate. Kind of the same. <laughs> it's kind of the same idea in the Twitch community. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, it's almost like Laurel Canyon for this '70s songwriting. Exactly. There's, like, there's hubs of people that are doing these these particular mediums mm. of like artistry and their outlet. Yeah. And, and you got to have that kind of um, like that thought bubble. It's sometimes just uh, pass things back and forth and see what you get. Um, it, it definitely seems like a special part of the world I'm missing out on right now. Like one of my favorite acts is Mark Rivole. Like that's one of those guys that took live streaming from an Airbnb to the next level. Yes. Yes. Yeah. He's killing it now, man. He's just doing who was I? I just saw him. He was with another because he's on Twitch too. Uh, I think he has like I think he didn't he die. Um, yeah, Marcy Max, Marcy Mark slaps. Yeah, for sure. What's up, Zy Glocks? Uh, welcome in, buddy. And Nader Tater, welcome in. Welcome in. Um, yeah, the Nader Tater. I like that one, man. <laughs> his name is Nader's Eight, but I don't know. I just call him Nader Tater because it just that's what came out of my fucking face. <laughs> He seems to accept change it. it. Change it. I like that a lot. <laughs> change, change your name, Naders. <laughs> we need a. We need a. a Let's get an alias. Separate LLCs. Hey, there you go. We're we're building brands here. Um, but yeah, he was. Uh, I think he has like an exclusive deal with Twitch or something. I, I can't remember what the situation was, but he's definitely killing it in that live streaming, and he's also doing like a, a, a like a, a a talk show and stuff now. And he was just with he was. I mean, he's just with these huge celebrities, and he's doing these live performances and just just murdering the game. And he just started on Facebook. Wasn't it Facebook or something? He just was on Facebook or, or I can't remember where he started. The first time I ever seen him was on Facebook. So maybe I'm just associated with him. Right. I'm unfamiliar. And like, you know, it, sometimes it takes getting to that right platform at the right time right. for it to take off. Like, right. I think it's, it's crazy to be looking around saying like there's other competitors for the live stream market that if you're on these platforms at the right time when they start to pop, you have, like an exponential place to go, whereas the rest of us are playing in markets that are, you know, people's streams are very populated by things. Yeah, man. Yeah, they they definitely. What is this? I'm I'm on his website, so I'm just trying to see what he's doing. But he's just 
He's just doing the most. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna show you. Hold on. This is look at this is his homepage. <laughs> this is ass sticking up. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh yes, Mark, you are the goat. <laughs> he is the goat. He is the goat, man. Yeah, man I, I. So I got horrible signal, so I'm probably just interrupting you left and right here. No, it, it's all good, man. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll I mean, if you, if you end up dropping out, you know, just uh, we, we'll, we'll, we'll try to get you back on, or if you find a solid connection, let us know. Yeah. But we got you as long as we can. We're four minutes from this hotel. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, before, well, then, if you do drop out, I do want to just say that uh, I really like your new video, Impatient, which is out right now, y'all. Oh, there he goes. Thank you, man. Thank you. I was I was hyped to uh, finally get it up. If you show that while I'm gone, that's great. I've watched it enough times for <laughs> for a lifetime, and I'm ready for other people to enjoy it and it to be off my hands. <laughs> <laughs> You're just, yeah, how involved were you in the in in the production of it? Besides, feel like besides uh, uh, besides you know being the star of the video, how, how I, start to finish. Really? You know, we, we have like a team that kind of comes up with the idea of it and, and tries to logistically shape the evening. Like this, this was one of the larger productions we've ever tried. And it, it was at times, I, it was unarguably a hot mess. But uh, but we were able to shape it up afterwards. And you know, I, I was involved a little bit in the editing of it, getting more hands on. Other times it's like watching edits and, and sending notes and going from there. Yeah. But uh, we, we, we were very particular at the end of this one just because certain uh initial intents didn't come through and it's hard to reshape that once you have the footage in hand it's like okay time to pivot <laughs> yeah but that's but that's uh that's like i think that's um <laughs> i think as musicians like i mean even right now you're on your way to a hotel i mean this is a part of the whole lifestyle of of an artist is like you gotta pivot sometimes bro <laughs> it's like sometimes your airbnb is not available so you gotta go with what you got and and I, I respect that and you know like that's what i love about artists and and musicians especially obviously but is that uh you know you can really stand in your own way at times if you let these like little roadblocks you know um determine yeah. you know the outcome and and if you if you don't if you don't like get out of the way if you're not willing to let go of some of this stuff uh you're you're going to like end up just harming yourself mentally and it's just no good oh yeah okay so so he's dropping out here so uh why don't we let's see if he comes back we'll give him a couple minutes to see if oh oh that's it folks he's done <laughs> he said why don't we watch the video welcome in everybody uh thank you guys for being here obviously our our guest is hold on this is always fun do 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 twitch don't like me i'm back <laughs> that's okay twitch don't like me either uh okay so what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna pivot because uh, it, it, we're gonna go on topic here and pivot and boom. why don't we uh why don't we go ahead and play the play the video and we'll see if uh if uh if uh what's his face can get back here what's his face jesus christ <laughs> we'll see if matt can make it back on here uh, with uh, with with some good wifey, wifey. I caught your live gig. It was not. Oh yeah, Naders. Uh, were you? Which one did you catch, Naders? Did you catch the one yesterday or did you catch the one today? The one yesterday was a hot mess. The, another thing that I, I I hate not having good internet. Here's the thing about five G here in Ohio. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. The the five G here is is it's just. It's garbage, garbage. It's um, uh, it's non-existent. It doesn't, it doesn't exist here. It's like it says five G, but what it really means is like, whatever you get is what you get. Fuck you. And so, <sighs> unfortunately, my stream was uh, really lame. But Raina's stream today was great. She had a live gig today, and it killed. It was murdering. It was murdering the scene like a sex machine. Look at this. I'm gonna make my face disappear. There we go. Yeah, baby. 
This is what we're doing now. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, all this city talk, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, not all of us can live out somewhere where you can just greet your neighbor with a fucking Tommy gun and a shotgun blast, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> Whatever naders. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna we're gonna pivot. We're gonna watch the video, Matt's video. It's called uh, "Impatient," and you can catch his new video out right now. Please go watch it. And I I don't I'm not hating naders. I am not hating my friend. How's the how's the internet out there, bro? How's the internet? Because that's that's really that's the real question. Is like how's the internet? I live out in the I live out in the boonies too right now, bro. I, you think I want to be in the city? I'm done with the city. I'm done with it. City has some things that I need, so I'm, it's nice to have. Uh, it's nice to be in proximity. You get six. See, that's all you need. That's all you need. I think we get eight, eight up, eight down. So, you know, I'm not mad at it. We got the fiber optics out here, so I'm not mad at it. So. Uh, <laughs> But I'm with you, bro. I, I mean, I can't. Again, I, I don't have the luxury of greeting my neighbor with shotguns, but I, I do have the I do have the, the 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 liberty of playing the new video by our guest today, who dropped out because he's in shitty he, he's in shitty situation, y'all. So we are gonna play uh, Matt's new thing. Hold on, let me do something real quick. I gotta find it again. So give me a second. I, I totally misplaced it. We're gonna play Matt Waters' new video, and it's called "Impatient." And uh, you guys are gonna see what kind of funky motherfucker this dude is, because he is just so good. And he's playing here in Ohio in Toledo uh, tomorrow. So if you're anywhere near Toledo, uh, I suggest you go see him, Matt, because he is a uh, he is a monster. So I'm going to turn it over to Matt and uh, check it out. This is impatient. And again, it's exclamation point MW. Go support Matt. He, he's just a fantastic artist. And uh, here we go. We're going to play impatient. Enjoy this video. Okay. Hold on. Here we go. <laughs> I can't tell you what's him Like a black other with a fringe Check it off a hinge Like a door swinging Round and round and round And I should have seen it coming But I knew you knew what you wanna wear Lay down, no sound but ow Zero to one hundred How the evening escalates Not gonna wait It just takes a taste To make me impatient Even when my eyes are closed My answer know just where to go
Boulevard. And I think I'm a fan of what I'm seeing. With a fan swinging from the ceiling. If you're bad, you're a thief. Who's hot, yo? Who's hot, yo? Feel how the evening escalates. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. And that was Matt Waters with his new video. Uh, it's called Impatient. And uh, if you guys want, to definitely go and check out this video. Hold on, let me let me share it in the chat. Let's share it in the chat with you guys. Bam! There it is. Go check it out, guys. It uh, reminds me of the Motet. Yo, Naders. <laughs> I love the motet. Um, what's the keyboardist name? He's like the lead of the band. Uh, keyboardist from the motet. His name is Joey Porter. Joey Porter. Okay, so I partied with Joey Porter before. Joey Porter and I partied with... Um, uh, with, uh, 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 what's his, uh, at the time, uh, uh, the, he had, a got us, got to see them at Red Rock. Yeah. Well, they own that fucking place, right? That's dope. I love the Red Rock, uh, amphitheater it is such a, just an amazing place to see. I got to see the dead there for three or four nights in a row. It's fucking incredible. And like the, the fog, when it moves in, when it rolls in, it's just crazy. Dude gets down on the scent. Yes. He is a bad, bad boy. Uh, what the fuck is his name? What's the, he was the keyboardist temporarily. Now he plays for, um, shit. The guy who owns Patreon, what's his, what's his band's name? And it's not Pomplamoose. That's his, that's him and his wife, but it's his other band who plays like covers and stuff. The guy with the beard. Oh my God. What the fuck is his name? Um, let me see the owner of Patreon. I'll get. I'll, I just have to go a long way. Jack Conti's band and Jack Conti's band. Jack Conti's band. He okay. So he nowhere. I didn't know he was in nowhere too. Wait a second. He's not in nowhere. Really? Uh, I'm bad with names. Uh, had a little. Yeah. No, it's okay. I that you can tell that I'm just fucking a fry Fried-o too. So it's all good. Uh, let me see. I'm sure he'll have it on Instagram. Uh, what's it called? Hold on. I'm gonna get this goddamn name, you guys. Um, Pomplamoose is awesome too, but he has another band called. Oh, this is the band. Uh, scary pockets. The scary pockets. This is them. This shit's tight, right? So anyways, uh, so the guy I was talking about, his, he's, uh, he was in the Scary Pockets and what he, he plays with them once in a while. Let me go to Scary Pockets. I got to go the long way around, guys, because I have a terrible memory. Scary Pockets. Brown. He plays the mouth synth. This guy. What girl, the? don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not gonna do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not gonna do what it. What is his name? I did it. Girl, don't do it. <laughs> I can't remember his name. Anybody know his name? Um, shit. Reminds me of Pigeon playing ping pong. Those guys are awesome, too. They were just at Hookahville, which I don't know if anybody knows who Acoustic Hookah is, but they're pretty dope. Um, they're, uh, they're from Ohio here. They're a jam band. Uh, yeah, Pigeon playing ping pong is dope. Um, shit, what is his name? 
This is bullshit, guys, that I have to go this far around. You know what, Dad? Swatkins. His name is Swatkins. You know what, Dad? Screw you. And so Swatkins, yeah, lettuce is amazing. I seen lettuce with uh, with Galactic in Detroit. I was tripping my dick off. <laughs> it was incredible. I love that lettuce's bass player. He always talks with the delay on. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever seen Lettuce live? These dudes are fucking crazy. Like, dude just talks with, uh, hold on, let's, let's find Lettuce. I, I'm not, I'm going to come back to my story about, um, um, about, about partying with Joey Porter from the Motet. So I just want to hear him talking. Let's just see what this is. There you go. Hear the delay. <laughs> He always, he always talks with a delay on. It's the bass player. <laughs> the bass player always talks with a delay on. That is so fucking ridiculous, right? Like, why? Why is he doing that? Just to fuck with people. That's why. Why not? I asked why. He says, why not? I knew I liked you, Nader. I mean, I, I, mad respect, son. These guys are so fucking badass. What are they about to play? Let's go. Without getting DMC aid, I guess that or DCM aid, whatever the fuck it is. So I, I got a message from Matt, and he said that he's gonna jump back on once he's in the hotel. So he'll be back on. Okay, so uh, Joey Porter and Swatkins, who's amazing. Hold on, I gotta show you guys videos of Swatkins too, because Swatkins is such a badass. I, I, I kind of, I kind of have a, uh, I, I talk to Swatkins online sometimes because we partied and, and like we have mutual friends, not to say we're good friends or anything, but this is his band. Pretty amazing. Okay. This dude plays the, what does he play? He plays that mouth thing. He's so funky. This is his band. I wish I was a, I wish I wasn't such a burnout because uh, it's the uh, it's the thing that Zap and Rogers play. It's uh the the mouth thing. What the fuck? It's not a vocoder. <sighs> What's the fuck is that called? He's so good though. But but um he, he if you if you hit him up on social media, he'll answer you. Is what I'm saying. Again, I'm not friends with him. And I'm not trying to boast or anything. Um, although I am trying to tell a story about how I partied with the motet. But this was when the motet um, it's it started in my hometown. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, Matt's back. There you go. It's that thing. Matt will know what this is. He's so good at that fucking thing. He's back. We're jamming, baby. Yeah, man. I love it. All right, well, 
we, we were just I, I we had to do so much googling to figure out who i was talking about peter frampton made it popular but the voice box thank you i was gonna ask yes i, I was gonna ask matt i was like what is that fucking thing called i yeah I, but the first to, to use it was jeff beck Jeff well, Frampton used it right after Jeff Beck was getting into it. Okay, so Jeff, Be- so so Frampton's just biting off Jeff Beck, and then and then you got these motherfuckers over. Like then keyboardists were like, "I can do that shit too. Get the fuck back, baby. Get the fuck back." Yeah, man. Have you ever seen a T Nava from Anderson Pack's band? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I think I've- he has a song called "Girlfriend" by T Nava. Um, he um he. I think I follow him on um. On uh, on on the on the IG, how do you spell his He's name? He's a killer, T N A V A. He's a Cincinnati guy as well. How dare you? How dare you, Cincinnati? Man, we got him good down there. Come what, on. What is it? The nasty, the five one three. You <laughs> love it. What is it? T N V A. Uh, T space N A V A. And then girlfriend. Oh, it's right there. Is Bang. There? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that I definitely don't. But this is a live video, so maybe Yo, we won't get DMCA. We virtual. Mm-hmm. We virtual. Yeah. We, we virtual. Watch out. Watch out, y'all. He's about to come through. Watch. Uh. You better get your girlfriend. Nice with it. God damn. <laughs> I can't sing, but there you go. Uh, yeah, that is that is it's way better than auto tune. It, it's like auto tune. Mm. The fact that it's like kind of angular, it's kind of driven like hard on the keys. Nothing right. bad tune. Man, it's way more flexible. Right, right, yeah, and, and it's just, man, auto tune is okay, I guess. You know, I can't hate on it too much, but I, I definitely agree that it's definitely better. Hit, hit me with that Daft Punk, yeah, Daft Punk. They, they, they use vocoders though, right? They're more yeah, vocoders. vocoders are different. Well, like, and that's kind of what the talk box of a keyboard is—is is a vocoder. Mm. Where it's like a talk box on a guitar, it's like a pedal with a literal tube. Right, sends up to your mouth, and you play that back through the mic. Right, well, that's what he's doing too, but but that's different from a vocoder. Um, oh, maybe he is doing a pedal version. Yeah, that yeah. Version of vocoder is like a microphone kind of deal. Exactly. Yeah. If you see, it, I don't know if you see, it, you're on your phone, so it might be a little, but like he I has, can kind of see that. He though. has a he's little tube. tube. Yeah, he has a tube. Yeah, I had one of those sons of bitches, and uh, I, I tried for a couple of months, and I was just like, man, I'm getting an electric drum set and trade that shit in the guitar set. <laughs> I was like, fuck this thing. A guitar. Fuck out. Hey, you know how we do. We know how we do. Uh, yeah, so we were watching your video, and uh, I, I definitely enjoyed it, and they were digging it, and uh, we, we... Much appreciated, y'all. I, I need the spins early on. Uh, we, tickle the algorithm for me any way you can. Yeah. Share that shit. Hell yeah. And f- spam emails. So, hold on. So... Uh, we won't play the whole thing again. Well, maybe we will. Yeah, don't do this to me. Please don't. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll jump off. I'll claim it's a Wi-Fi <laughs> issue, dog. I, I will dip so hard. He's like, I'm out. Seen it, been there. So, uh, But I will share in the chat again. So y'all go in there and um, and, and, and get yourself some. Make sure you guys are yeah, ready. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. Yeah, you that's... just hold that hyperlink in your arms, and the internet loves it. So, so oh, there he goes. Oh, my God. I just got... You getting a call? Yeah. So there we go. All good. So yeah, that because it yeah it gave you Motet vibes. So I was partying with. Uh, so we went and saw Motet in San Diego. When I lived in San Diego, they played this bar uh, called Winston's, which is a pretty popular bar in OB in San Diego. They they definitely have like um, a really cool vibe there. Lots of reggae. Lots of bands you're not going to see anywhere else in the city. And that was one of their stomping grounds. And this was before they were like the motet. So are you back, bud? I have no idea. You tell me. Yeah, he's back. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's all good, brother. It's all good. We're making Next this. Next time, I promise, stable connection. And, uh, <laughs> it's and, all uh, good, man. You online can, interaction. Cool. You you can't you can't help these things, man. You can't help these things. But uh, Nader Nader Tater was saying that uh, that the Tater it, Nader. 
Tater Nader. Okay, my bad. Tater Nader said that uh, your video gave him Motet vibes, and so okay. Uh, so, so I was talking, I was starting to tell a story about how I partied with Joey and, uh, Swatkins when Swatkins was a part of, uh, of, of the, of the motet. Uh, they played this cool little bar in San Diego called, um, Winston's. And, uh, the guy I went with was friends with Swatkins and he was, uh, they, they played together in, in upstate New York. That's where Swatkins is from. So they were buddies, they were homies and they knew each other. And so we went to their crappy hotel they were staying in in OB afterwards. And I, 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 it, there's not much to the story other than he, he, we, we chatted all night and then they wanted to go to sleep and I was drinking up all their liquor. And then they even bought me fish tacos. And then I was like, we're going to hang out more. And they're like, no, nah, bro, we need to go to bed. And I was like, no, I'm coming up there and I'm going to drink more. And it was, it was just, it, was, it ended up me getting kicked out of the party as per usual. No way. Okay, good on you. Good on you. <laughs> well, Let I'm, them dry, baby. <laughs> so, so, you know, uh, good times, good times. But uh, yeah, no, the, cool people, cool people. And, and the motel, I mean, obviously since then have sort of blown up and, you know, now they play Red Rocks and shit. So, you know, whatever. Dude, what, a, what a good stage to be at in your career. If you get the, the Red Rocks life, like you have the, the sweetest of amphitheater tours that ends with that, that's as good as it gets. I know, man. Have you ever, have you ever seen any shows there? I've never gone up to see any shows. I, I've always wanted to see like, like a Joe Bonamas or something like epic, but like classic like that. You know, maybe one of my, like, I love Mount Joy. Mount Joy has a killer live album there that just put out last year. Okay. Okay. But, uh, you know, I want to see like a sit down show. I don't want to be rocking too hard. I want to be a great mix, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't be rocking too hard. Yeah, I, so yeah, man, this ain't a Martian show. These are concrete steps. <laughs> yeah, oh, for real, man, for real. Yeah, those I'm steps. Be wild. They, they 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 will fuck you up. No, I got to see the dead there <laughs> for uh, what was it? It was like a four or five night run. And uh, me and my hippie girlfriend at the time, we were on we were on tour with the dead. And we were out there selling three two beer in, at, in Colorado, and people were pissed at us because they were like, "This is three two beer, this is bullshit." <laughs> I was Man, like, you really on. were. You were you're trudging out there with the dead. How dare you? I know, I know. It, it, it's gross. It's gross. But uh, I, I was uh, well. I, I just went to the Dead and Co show on Wednesday night in Cincinnati, man. And yeah, Shakedown looks beautiful. The people were kind. Yeah, grilled cheese is dank. <laughs> it's only a buck. What the fuck? I wonder. Dude, I would go ahead. Bacon in every fucking bite. Like that's the guy. Damn, nice. Uh, so wait. So because of inflation, are are the grilled cheeses more than a buck? Uh, I think I I had a five dollar grilled cheese with the fixings. With the fixings. So which is a fair deal to me. But right. like you know, if you if you're I'm sure there's there's friends and family discounts out there where it's like a dollar for you. you right. know? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's like, uh, I mean, if it's just a plain grilled cheese with American cheese and two pieces of, ho- uh, of, of you know, like whatever white bread, then it probably is, you know, maybe that's a bug. But again, with inflation, who knows? Who knows? Man, how much cost me to run my generator in the back of this, uh, you know, nineteen eighty six like Astro van? If we're gonna be, <laughs> <laughs> Yo. it ain't easy, dog. No, not, it is. it's hard out there. <laughs> It's hard on that. Hot cheese, not till the right time. That's got to be cold <laughs> till then, man. <laughs> oh shit! Naders wants to know what your thoughts on String Cheese Incident. String Cheese Incident, the album? N- no, the band. Oh man, I am uh, not even dabbling in the category. Do I need to get hip? Obviously, I, uh, if I'm being well, asked about it. They're they're pretty cool. They're like a jam band. They're like a. Jam. Would you educate me with a quick vid? Uh yeah, we could probably see uh we could probably do like a live they have tons of live stuff, so it's like uh Okay, okay. that sounds killer. Yeah, man, I, I went to Bonnaroo for two years, but I don't have much festival experience. Ah. Especially not in like the strict jam band category, which feels like it's almost like diving into jazz. It's like there's gonna be so many bands and names in like an avant garde kind of category that are hard to put your thumb on till like you study. You know? Oh yeah, it, yeah. Because they they all have like these huge extensive fuck. <laughs> Naders is taken off. Then now that because you don't know who they are, uh, they you took can the- talk shit. I, I take it. I, tell me, <laughs> what did he say? No, he just he just dropped an emote <laughs> where he's just leaving. It's a it's a it's okay. A, it's just a silly. He's just joking around. My, my my tater brethren, if you leave because of my 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 lack in the category, I'll grow. 
I'll do this for you, baby. Just don't go. Please. Stick around, Tater Nader. Uh, okay, hold on. Stick around. I'll find you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here is uh, here's their latest video. This was dropped two days ago, so this is a live video. That's awesome. So we'll see. We'll see what. We'll see. You gotta we'll respect see. people just deep in the live stream game, man. It's not easy to produce that kind of. No, at all. No, it's 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 really difficult, and um, w w you know, there's like there's a lot of models now that they're kind of going after. I think I I'm not sure if Fish started it or if the Dead started, it, but now it's like they'll put on like the first like forty minutes of the show, and then it'll be like catch mm. the rest of the stream at GratefulDead.com, and you know, there's a paywall, but they sort nice. of like rope you in. I don't know if the if String Cheese does that, but yeah, the, it, it's definitely that's a fair model, man. I like that. It's, it's like, not bad. You know, you could hear everything, mm -hmm. you know, in a rotating forty minutes. But right. like, in a fair sense, someone paid for the ticket to go there. You know, I can go through the paywall to support the band, see the show. Absolutely, no, it's not a bad deal at all, and it's high quality video, it's high quality sound, and it's like, and if you can't be there, or if you live in another country where they never come or something, like this is a great mm -hmm. way for you to get some sort of the experience. I mean, you could probably drop acid at your house and like put it on the surround sound yeah, and dude. go for it, you know? It's like, I'm here. You turn the lights off and said this like four or five TVs throughout the house. <laughs> Take an eighth, you know? You're, you're going to live a pretty cool life for a little bit. You're, you're going to go ham, baby. Uh, gonna, yeah, straight up, straight up. Make uh, some microwavable snacks, part. <laughs> yeah, grill your own cheese. Uh, you no, know. don't do that, dude. Just do that at the deck shows. That's how you know. <laughs> uh, it's like when you go through TSA and they check your hands for some kind of substance. Like, that's why you get the grilled cheese there. Like, something's on their hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Don't forget about widespread pain. Hey, panic. Why not? Uh, yeah. Spreadhead. Uh, widespread panic. Spread coming. <laughs> Yo, that is real. Spreadheads are real. Okay. We're going to check out Dude, a little bit. That's awesome. We're going to check out a little bit of string cheese and turn on uh, Matt to some string cheese here. <laughs> They're getting spacey, baby. Dude, that's my favorite part of the dead shows. Right? Uh, drums and space. Yeah, drums in space, baby. Oh, we got a violin coming. Kind of gives me ELO vibes. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. You know what I mean? Like extravagant. Yeah. Here we go. We're getting into the jam, y'all. Yeah, man. Talking drum, knew it. I'm pretty sure that guy's in blue. Go and here's the drop. Woo. Here we go. Man, do they have a jam with Billy? I would like to have those strings. Yeah, they're 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 definitely hip. They're definitely hip. Uh, I've never seen string cheese before, and I've never seen widespread panic. But I am definitely, but I've definitely been like you know hip to them for a long time. Uh, the the spread. Yeah, shout out Tater Gator for turning me on to it, man. I'll have to <laughs> dig in a little bit more. Yo, they're cool, man. They're cool. How how was John Mayer uh, with Dead and Co? Tasty. You know, I'm a big fan, man. I grew up with that. Like that's our Clapton, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, for real, man. He's no, I, accept it. I'm with you. I'm and with you. He's free to to do. I love they wears the over your headphones up there with them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
you know, I love how Bob's barely in the mix, but like still kicking ass. <laughs> Yo, let's check out a little bit of Dead and Co. Because these guys are fucking slaying right now. Uh, Dude, my- O'Toole, the, the bass player, is so gnarly. I forget what he sang last night. Uh, well, Wednesday night, but like I was in too emotional state to handle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh, uh, yeah, man, because they because Phil Lesh is, I don't think he's healthy enough, or I don't know if they're not able, if he's not <laughs> able to go for his throat. I don't think he's healthy enough. I think Phil's out of shape. What, what are you trying to say? <laughs> well, he has that fucking uh, what's the Phil Lesh and friends? Yeah, Lesh, yeah, he, but but he doesn't play, and he had that thing because I don't know if you ever seen uh, when they were doing other uh, shows, but they were doing uh, when when they were kind of together with with Mickey and the other drummer. Fuck, I can't remember their names, but mm. when Phil was touring with them at the end of each show, he would always be like, "I want to thank Cody." For giving me a liver or some shit because he had hepatitis. <laughs> yeah, every fucking at the end of a show, he's like, "Thank you, Cody," and the whole fucking audience would be like, "Cody!" And everybody. That's nuts. Yeah, because he got a new thing. Whatever the thing that hepatitis destroys is the thing. But but here's yeah. look, here's the uh, here's. You fun. want to talk about inequality? I'm talking I'm talking donor lists. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> For so real. For party real. with the best of them, and he he got hooked up. <laughs> he did. Oh, of course. That that is some shit right there, though. He he's definitely um, he definitely that that is some uh. uh uh, he's worth preserving artificially i'm, yeah. I'm with it yeah What's you know pig valves the whole nine i want to see an <laughs> iron man style <laughs> okay pig valves. Uh, Dude, it's the future baby it, it, it's now man that's now the future is now um let's let's jump into this so here's like their little sample of the show and, um, they talk now they have like a podcast before it and then they wait, just phil lesh does no Look at him oh, go. The dead does. Yeah. So like this is the beginning. So they have like a little the podcast. Then and now is That's this right here. epic. This is popping up, right? You know, who are nowadays. These dogs? I don't even know who these guys are, but here's the live stream. Media. There's a whole chat so we're now. Doing what we were doing, even in it's called. Oh, it's dead air. It's dead air. So dead air is. A, they they have their own podcast and they do this before each each live stream now. And then at, awesome. and then the show goes and then we're yeah let's we'll see let's we'll see Jay let's we'll see Johnny fucking shred here and that PRS too dude I went to the rock hall about a month ago and they had a bunch of Jerry's NFTs up <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God they had a bunch of Jerry NFTs up and they were banging. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry NFTs, let's go, dude. They have like ten of them. They're crazy. <laughs> are you uh, are you invested in any of that stuff, Doug? I I, I barely have uh, Apple stock. There's no way I'm on the forefront of Jerry NFTs. <laughs> it's the wave of the future, man. <laughs> yeah, man. You don't need a house to retire. <laughs> you, you need a timestamp, and so. Yeah. Some really, shit, you know, lofty intellectual property. That's what we retire on. Don't know how I know that, but yeah. Look at look at these fucking hippies getting it. Look at those hippies going, brother. You have no idea. I. You, you talk about people watching like that. That's the event to free your mind and your ass will fall. Like you will be shaken like one of them if you didn't start. Oh, yo, no, I, anytime I go to any of these kind of fucking festivals or, or shows, hippie shows, like, I am just all in, man. I'm just doing like, yeah, man. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm dropping, yeah, I'm dropping a fucking bunch of fucking mushrooms and I'm going for it. I don't give up. Fuck. I'm, I'm almost 40, yeah, bro. Man. I got a, I got a family. <laughs> I got a child in my life and I'm just like, fuck it. I'm doing this. I'm doing it huge. <laughs> Yeah, man, when you got space to yourself, you should absolutely get cosmic, have a good time. Yeah, no, I do it uh, right in front of my son. I'm like, you watch me. You watch okay. your f- No, right. I don't. I don't do that. Everybody, I don't do that. I don't tell my son to watch hey, me trip on you drugs. You watch his TV shows, he watches your <laughs> binges, whatever. Yeah, this He's is the parent a, you want to be. Yeah, well, I agree with that. I agree with that. Okay, okay. okay. Tater Gator has one more question, and which you can have as many questions. You can have as many questions as you want, Taters. Uh, what's your thoughts on Leland Sklar? Now, I don't know who Leland Sklar is. I don't either. Now, now, 
Tater's just shooting for my neck. I know you know I didn't know who this was. <laughs> Play it for me, brother, please. Let's go, Leland Sklar. <laughs> I managed to run to the parking lot and get a warm Miller out of our cooler. Uh, go ahead, man. Get your... Get I'll, a... I'll definitely lose connection. I'll give me some time here. Well, well uh, put your phone down and we'll wait for you. That ain't right. No, no, no. <laughs> Inform me on the music. <laughs> Go get yourself a warm Miller, dude. Has over three. Hey, I'm a lucky guy. <laughs> hey, fucking hey, man. If you can have a warm Miller, and you know, at five p.m., you're good. Um, yeah, you let me know when it's about time. I'll go out there and I'll shotgun one to end the interview, just to, <laughs> to make it right. Yes, we will. We'll do that. So, ways you ever microwave a Miller? No, but have you? No, I'm I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, that would have been amazing, though. I I would have been like, what happens? What is it? Like, what what's the That's magic? Some heroic five acre kind of shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's some shit that Tater Gator is doing, son. Like, <laughs> yo, Tater said Tater said that he 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 greeted his neighbor with his Tommy gun, da, 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 and his <laughs> and his and his neighbor uh, said hi back with his shoddy that he was carrying in his fucking truck. So like, okay. Tater okay. don't fucking play, son. Tater don't play. Uh, that's why we uh, love him around that, here. Dude, that's like Gator don't take no shit from uh, the other guys. What yeah. one of the best Will Ferrell flicks? <laughs> what is that one? The other guys. That's him and Marky Mark Wahlberg. And oh yeah, he's the cop. The cops that get picked on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there's that awesome uh, the Rock character where he jumps off the building at the de- and they're like aim for the bushes, aim for the bushes. <laughs> So wait, are you Great play? Flip. Are you playing in? You're not playing around town tonight, just tomorrow, right? I am. I'm at, at Howard's over in Bowling. Oh, you're in BG. Okay, yeah, man. You can double dip. You can come see us. Well, I, I you have... can come shotgun a warm Miller with. <laughs> I don't drink anymore, man. But I, I, I would, okay, okay. I, but I would definitely shotgun a, 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 a bottle of water. Or or a diet coke. How about some Nyquil? I don't know what you're lying. <laughs> Yo, I would I would just down some Nyquil though. I have done that recently because I had a dude. Cold. That's the uh, Latin Sprite. Is that how you make uh? What, what's the the rappers love it? Lean. <laughs> Are you talking about lean? Lean. Yeah. Yeah. Is that Nyquil and Sprite? No, oh, no. It's it's so lean is uh it is is like I think it is Sprite and it's it's coding. The, coding. Maybe? Yes, coding. It's cough syrup with Those coding. Those lucky kids. <laughs> yeah, they really know what they're doing. Uh, she she yeah, gets real real quick. <laughs> Jerry Reed, Amos Moses is a song about you. Are you? Yeah. Are you lying to me? Don't be lying to me now, Gator. Uh, no, I, he, he's definitely baiting you with this, but we got to go. <laughs> like, look at the commitment on this man's end. Look at his beautiful beard. You think it's detachable? We, I think he's lying. I can tell. Never. He never lies. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm trying. Until I get to tug it, it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on. Let me see. Okay. I, I do want to see like a live video of this guy. Live concert. I'm turning into an idiot. Um, no, no, no! I was talking about this man's beard. Wait, is it? Is he in Toto? He's not in Toto. Oh hell yeah! Look at that kid. Phil Collins? Wait, is it? So he plays bass. He's a bassist, Gator. And this is Phil. This is Phil Collins going. I'm definitely gonna get DCMA for that one. So okay, so Leland, <laughs> Leland Scar is is a is a is a bassist, and he's played with a bunch of different bands. And he's okay. So uh, I All see right. what you're saying. So hold on, let me just. That dude looks fucking wild, Leland Scar. Hey, give me a bass solo. You know, one day we're gonna be able to to CGI epic bass solos that the world is need. almost like. A, a celebrity death match from the MTV days. But these oh, are bass yeah. solos, so I want to see like. Randy Jackson versus like Bootsy in his prime. <laughs> that would be dope. Hell yeah. Just go yeah, just to squash it. Randy Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Randy Jackson. You ain't shit. Uh, yeah, man. You have me inside out. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Oh, baby, look at them strong black males and their deep, deep V shirts. Hey, let's go. 
Um, was this Tater? <laughs> no, this is Samo. Samo was talking shit now. And Moving Dutchman. Welcome, Moving Dutchman. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you so much for being Moving here. Dutchman? Yeah, Thanks Moving Dutchman. Hold on, Moving Dutchman. I, I, I got to do you. Hold on. This is for you. Yeah, you moving. got a graphic for the... Oh yeah, and Moving Dutchman is is a is a hardcore player in this stream. Hold on, let me let me remember what I'm doing here. It's for you, Moving Dutchman. Hello, Moving Dutchman. This <laughs> is Gandalf. Thank you for all that you do for this channel, and always remember, a Moving Dutchman is never late, nor early, but arrives precisely when he means to. Moving Dutchman, you know I love you, baby. Uh, welcome back, Morgana. Good to see you. I hope you and your boyfriend made some sweet, sweet love. And uh, nice. I, I hope that nice. you did it to, uh, to Im uh, Impatient, which is the new video out by your boy here, Matt Waters, which you got to go check out now. I'm going to drop yes, in the please link. Please conceive child to this song. Uh, it does nothing for my streams, but it does everything for my heart. Uh, I have very fickle pursuits. <laughs> <laughs> baby making music oh wait a second. this is definitely not matt waters thing sorry okay well look yeah, it's this... it's here's his link tree go check out his link tree i'm sure it's connected there bang boom there it is go go oh go. shit i, what you I gotta put it on link tree oh you might beat me oh shit okay i'm running i'm getting the laptop out <laughs> it's okay we'll we'll get it back out there hold on i i could easily no get i'm it. not disappointing your, your viewers <laughs> <laughs> no, look what she, he already she already did it's too late she already did she already followed sure up. Sure, looked at the link tree uh i don't know if she already looked at the link tree or if she already got the video but uh if you work on the conceiving child thing i can work on the link tree thing and we could time this out perfect <laughs> we're gonna make it happen captain uh <laughs> So yeah, the 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 impatient. I gotta ask on that video though. Did the the Modelo where you're dropping the Modellos was that on purpose or was that something that you just like? Oh, let's drop this in because it happened or something. That that whole bit had zero purpose. We just wanted to shoot something stupid outside with the band kind of placed hanging out doing their thing. Uh, and the first time I ate shit. The second time was a stunt. The third time was a harder eat shit just because it felt good. And then after that, we were just taping up a box, hoping that we could fill in little clips of it. So if you see the tape, just know we, we busted those. We busted two cases of Modelo in that front yard. Hell no. That, that, Hell no. That, that's alcohol abuse. We drank all of them. We Excellent. drank all of them. Excellent. As you should. And we didn't tell – well, a lot of the extras drank them. We, we didn't tell anyone that they were dropped and shaken. So probably not our best call. I'm sorry to everyone that watched – uh, and didn't get a beard in the dome. Nader Tater, thank you so much for those 500 biddies. Thank you, my friend. I really appreciate it. Biddies. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you're not hip to the biddies. Show us your biddies, baby. Thank you, Nader. I really, really appreciate that, my friend. I, I really do. Uh, Morgana wants to know why you only have one follower on Twitch. And it's only because he does. he's, he's still learning the, the ways of Twitch. <gasps> There you go. Woo, taters. Thank you so much for that. Uh, and and there you get some nature boy for it, for your troubles. There nature you boy. Uh, so, yeah, the 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 I, 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 I dug what you guys were doing with the video. I like the, the wardrobe change at the beginning, too. I, I like that. I like Thank you. you. First of all, I like your I like your jacket. It has tassels on it. Your leather jacket. It's it's. Uh, it's it's very very awesome is, is that was that an expensive jacket was that something yes i i got i trolled the internet for that i found it on facebook marketplace oh wow. uh, i tried it on for the first time in my parents kitchen and it had uh like two cigarettes left of an american spirits pack in it <laughs> the universe aligned <laughs> <laughs> so it, it was hilarious did you uh, it doesn't fit me that well i oh. have people trying to buy it from me at shows so i will probably be selling it to the <laughs> highest bidder uh, i'm here to inflate that price <laughs> hey inflation is real baby inflation is real the, the i promise a full pack of spirits to whoever buys this jacket for more <laughs> than i bought it for <laughs> oh let, let's let's see this jacket i think because i used it for your um I used it for your yes. flyer, but but I I, uh, I I took out the tassels because it was making it a weird. It made it look weird, which now I'm no. Regretting. You gotta get in there and do that deep crap, dude. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, 
<laughs> I feel like I let everybody down. Out. How, where, where is that fucking thing? Oh, I know where it's at. Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna shift screens so you guys can't see my my fucking. Uh... Oh wait, it's on your Facebook. It's like your main page. Now. It's like your main picture. Yeah, everywhere. So no, those pictures are from our uh, our live album that we shot in March. Mm. Nice. What? Yes. Where 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 did you shoot it? That we shot that at a gorgeous club in Cincinnati called Radio Artifact. Mm. It's in a part of town called Northside. Um, they do fantastic streams. If you check out Radio Artifact, they also act as a, a label. So they put on shows every weekend. They're live streamed. Uh, we did a little bit more in-depth recording sessions. So we're going to be dropping like the the edited video with a couple other camera shots and the live stream and all that on July 15th. Oh, that's sick. That is so fucking yeah, sick. Man. So, so you're gonna have a li- you're gonna have a live album, and there you go, at y'all. There's the, there's the tassel. That's the jacket. And if you're interested, all the tassels that you can see from the outside. There's other tassels. Oh, how dare you, son of a bitch! <laughs> there it is. Not you. This computer. Look, I'm just trying to get these tassels in in shot here. Look Bang! At, look at those fucking tassels, y'all. This could be yours. All you got to do is get that link tree. <laughs> if you catch me with a pack of cigarettes, you better believe I got 20 doobies in there. <laughs> you goddamn right, Naders. You goddamn Bang, right. Bang, baby. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> so, yeah, if you if you are interested, if you are seriously interested, you I'm sure you can reach Matt through any one of his links on his link tree and of course yes. go in there and listen to uh Impatient his new video. Make sure you're playing it, run it up, y'all, run it up. Uh, and, and dude, I, I like your podcast, man. You have a very natural podcasting demeanor when you're doing it. Well, Thank you. Uh, I know you had uh, it when uh, you were on the first time, but I don't know how much we talked about it. But like, what 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 made you start a podcast? What was your what was your aim there? Uh, my my tour manager mentioned that he he would enjoy the idea of it. I think just having people around to like encourage you to try new mediums are important. So I, I took a crack at it. The show's kind of had a lot of iterations from. You know, an hour and a half long interview with like getting hammered playing Battleship over Zoom to now it's more of like the in person, you know, kind of endless conversation. If we want to get a little turn, we can get a little turn. <laughs> yeah. So very, very open format again. But, uh, but yeah, just want to give it a try. And it's a good excuse to see friends. I tend to fill my time with work stuff if I got it. So yeah. to, to call this like aimless drinking and kicking it with people, work time feels good. So it's an excuse to party. Yeah, you're goddamn right. You're goddamn right. Any excuse will do, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, with your party, do you, I mean, do you, do you party a lot? Do you, do you, I mean, like playing? As no, a, no. I'm a mild dude, but, you know, I'm playing in a bar most nights of the week. Right. So, like, if someone hands me a drink, normally I'll participate in the game. And, mm-hmm. But uh, I'm not going to be closing down bars or uh, hopefully not getting kicked out of house parties. Most of the time that's, that's more of a personality thing than a habitual thing. No, you're, you're right. And that, that was, I, I, my drinking personality would just sucked. So I, I, I just, <laughs> I, I can't know. You'd accept that. Well, yeah. And that's why I don't drink anymore because it's like, I, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. Like, like I became a musician when I stopped drinking. Like before that I was just ruining people's sets. You know what I mean? Just like, what? <laughs> Yeah, that's just fucking shit up. It's because they're like, oh, I really like your keyboard, but you show up fucking wasted and you just shit all over. Say, I'm not the type of dude. Like, I always romanticized alcohol. Like, man, I could drink and then I could fucking, I play better when I'm drunk. And it's like, no, you don't. You don't play better. Like, I play my best when I'm absolutely sober, which is, yeah, which is fine. You know, like, that's cool. But that was something I had to learn. And it took me a long time. So I was out there fucking people's sets up. So, yeah, I don't know. Ain't nothing worse than seeing that guy in a, in a band. You know, you can kind of spot that, but it's it, it's just it's just part of the experience too. Like you're in these environments that are very tempting for for whatever your vices might be. Yeah. And, and at the end of the day, you got to decide what's more important, that or the music to you. Yeah. And and I think for a lot of people, they they find the escape back in their instrument. You know, if if this was a part of your life and and you're able to kind of get your vice in a place that you're more comfortable with the music becomes uh, an enabler of, of positive habits yeah yeah absolutely absolutely and it, it, and, that, and that was the whole thing i mean you know how it is we're in bars all all the time and it's just like you want to part and like for me i just was like i i just was always i had a fear of missing out i had major fomo mm-hmm. i was just always like i just wanted to fucking be liked and 
uh, and I and, and I was the insecure guy, and I, I thought that uh, you know, like I needed social lubrication. But then there was no mm-hmm. off switch, so it's like shit. That, that it just took me a long time to figure that that out that I didn't have an off switch. So, but I figured it out, and that's when I started a music career, a real music career. <laughs> and I was able to like maintain, uh, you know, bands and and do things and play with all you know, ma- maintain a lifestyle. Uh, you're, do you, do you, uh, were, was there ever a time when you were not that you're saying, not saying that you were unprofessional, because I feel like that you seem, you seem like you've always held a professional, uh, a stance on your career. Uh, I mean, just mm-hmm. seeing how you, you act and seeing your, the quality of content that you do put out and, uh, the things that you have to manage as a, especially as a frontman. Uh, but was there ever a time when it was, uh, where, where you might not have taken it too seriously or you were just, you know, maybe getting a little too hype and partying a little too much and you had to draw it back or have you always been sort of, you know, laser focused? I, I've always just kept up the schedule of gigging. So like there's, there's been, you know, nights where you, you, you fall off the, the end of the earth in your own mind and like you just, <laughs> you eat shit because you have been paying attention to your own needs and, mm-hmm. and serving yourself in a positive way. And like, you know, sometimes you just forget to eat in a day and then you start drinking like you normally do and you tank in the second set. You're like, okay, <laughs> time, time to pull trig and you know, boot and rally, get back up there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it, it, you do have to sort of move on and, and get past it and, and yeah, yeah, I, offer I, yourself a little forgiveness, but yeah. you know, re- remember the moments for what they are and, yeah well that's what sucks is that when 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 you're a true fucking when you're true abuser you you're definitely just it it doesn't matter like you have all these moments all the time and then it's just it's a pattern and you just keep it going and oh god Mm. it's gross to even think about honestly yeah and and to be on the other side gives you a different Mm -hmm. perspective of it and like to share that's important because i think a lot of people like you, you you isolate yourself when your problems start to become everything you know yeah. when when you really feel trapped in uh, something perpetual like that yeah absolutely have you ever had to distance yourself from bandmates or past bandmates bandmates because of of uh, substance abuse yeah there's there's been certain guys that have been cycled out of the band mm. you know and the, the, the nice thing about not having a, a formal band having like bandmates that do a lot of things and come in and out depending on who's available for tours is it, it doesn't have to be like um, like you're out and this guy's taking your place. Like there's always been many people you just stop getting that call. Yeah. And if there ever needs to be a conversation more than that, and that's like for consideration of um, as a friend, just trying to tell someone why. Yeah. You, know, you sometimes have this conversation. Sometimes you don't. And I, I had one particular childhood friend that that really suffered with uh, with some cycles of of substance abuse and watching someone like need to hit their own rock bottom and how you can't prevent that and you shouldn't prevent that. It's important. It's like, okay, cool. Just step away from them. Yeah. You know, they will be around. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Right. Hopefully. Um, Hopefully. Cause, cause, yeah. Cause sometimes they, they don't. My, my DJ buddy admitted to a lot of influences, non-legal, <laughs> but he also opened for yeah. the crystal method. There you go. Naders. There he is. <laughs> hey, you know, sometimes you could, do, it, it always is weird to me to these people. Well, I guess once you hit a certain level of success in, in, in this business, like you can just be enabled all the time, right? Like you were, mm-hmm. as long as you can sort of keep up with the schedule and, and, and keep making people money, you it, it, they'll, they'll, the people who are supposed to be managing you will be like well get him some more so he can fucking play this gig I gotta buy a new boat so get his yeah. ass on stage people are making money off you that's a, a totally different you know push behind it mm-hmm. they want to see you reckless they want to see you you know mm-hmm. staying popular like that's you, you gotta hope that you can you can be a slow build and a long term payoff rather than a, a spark in the pan like that come out fiery hot and, yeah burn out too quick yeah that that that's 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 scary man and, and like you look at like long term like like jerry garcia is a great example of somebody who who did this had this long career and who was um you know was you know at at the end of the day he ended up dying because of his addictions and i know i know i thought 
I know. I think it was him coming off of it, and his body was just weak, and he and he couldn't sustain it because he was quitting or something. I can't remember the whole story, but it was, you know, it was drug related, and it was years of abuse, and uh, mm-hmm. it was uh, that that it's crazy to see, or or like somebody like Keith Richards, you know, Keith Richards, who I don't think he's still like partying hard, but he's still drinking and smoking like three packs. Yeah, of- I was gonna say <laughs> he's probably still doing you know his normal mischief. Like he, he unfortunately is. It's the greatest example of like did everything you shouldn't and did fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he just rolled you know, right off his back. Mix over there getting open heart surgery and he runs ten miles every day. He's trying to stay on top of it, and <laughs> they're like, "Yeah, Keith's cholesterol's great. It's great." <laughs> he's still doing one arm push ups, bitch. <laughs> it's like he's dude. Doing... <laughs> would that be the craziest thing to see? <laughs> yeah. He's like sipping a coke, smoking a cigarette, doing a one handed push up. <laughs> Oh shit! Yeah, man. And he plays everything in open tuning, so he just uses one finger the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's dude. All he needs. That's the reason Bam Margera wasn't in the new Jackass movie. Oh, is Bam all fucked up? I could see that. Yeah, dude. Yeah, what a weird thing to imagine that of all of them, uh, we couldn't get Bam back. Yeah. You know? Especially after everything that happened with Ryan Dunn. Sometimes yeah. it's too close to home for you to ignore and like. It seems like he's kind of fallen into it hard with that. Yeah, man. No, and, and that's sad, man. I mean, even like Steve O bounced back, you know? It's like. Uh, Steve's <laughs> fake teeth look great. <laughs> <They look. laughs> yeah. He yeah, looks killer. Up. He's only. Have you seen the new movie? I watched 25 minutes of it with my fiance ah. uh, before they were doing the sushimi bit. Uh, I, I've never seen it, so I don't know what's going on. Okay, okay. But yeah, well, she started gagging. And I was like, "All right, we okay, out. We gotta, go. <laughs> yeah. we gotta go." Yeah, when the lady's not happy, it's time to change the channel. <laughs> no. uh, when we're all thinking about vomiting. Yeah, it's time to dip. <laughs> well, yeah. So I, I'm not sure if you got. Did you just recently get engaged? I got engaged probably about two months ago now. Okay, so yeah, I'm very so, bad with time. No, it's totally yeah. I I am too. I I can't even remember what I fucking had for breakfast, so it's fine. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but it, 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 the the only reason I know what's going on is because my calendar tells me so. So it's, yes, yeah, yes. my calendar. Thank God. Uh, we tell Google everything. Yeah, it, it keeps us on task. Yeah, thank you, Google. Thank you. We appreciate you, <laughs> and thank you for taking our, our our information and selling it to the highest bidder. And uh, you yeah, know. I was cool with them. I I signed off. <laughs> yeah well you know i read 40 pages and i was like that all sounds super kosher great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> agree <laughs> uh, no but it is weird how google sort of dictates what we can and can't see you know what i mean as a, like for information and stuff you know like it, it is it is a strange time to be alive where where you don't really have um where where so many people are dependent on this search engine, but they and they know it, and then they sort of block certain information that you don't that you can and can't see, and it's like it's just a, it's just weird, you know, it's strange, strange that they took it upon themselves to be the arbiters of truth. All I know is the public li- library definitely has aisles of erotica, and that's freedom, brother. <laughs> that's where you should go for the real shit. <laughs> and that's freedom, I'm brother. Biased. Yeah, hardback, baby. That's where the truth is. At. If, if you can get printed, I'll trust it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, there it is, everybody. Out of the mouth of Matt Waters himself. Get to your okay, library. No soliciting in my neighborhood. Don't don't come tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the uh, so like. When you got engaged the last couple months, and uh, I yeah. think the last time you were on here was just your girlfriend. So that that's nice. Indeed, what, indeed. Thank just, you, thank you. Congratulations, of course. Like, what, so how did that go down? Uh, was it special, or was it like you know you're at the bar and you're like, how about we get married, baby? <laughs> hey, let's do this shit. And you spit in each, you spit in your own hand. You shook her hand, and you're like, that was it. God, I, I wish we were a Disney fairy tale like that, but. Uh... <laughs> No, I've I've been with my my gal for probably uh, a little over four years now. Maybe four years and a couple months. Nice. We're just at that four year mark, and, and we've been talking about it. And you know, like once you start to uh, flush out the idea of a life with somebody, and it all sounds, you know, it sounds ideal. Like okay, time to time to count my tips, see if I can buy this thing in cash, and <laughs> ask when the moment's right. So yeah, so I bought <laughs> I bought a ring in cash, and. Uh, I was holding on to it, waiting for the right moment. Ended up doing it the uh, 
the overlook of the city right by the Ohio River, mm. pretty close to our apartment. Nice. Uh, her brother came out and did some nice photography for it. So it was very private, everything yeah. that, that we both wanted from it. And, Oh, that's very that's very sweet. That's very sweet. Yeah, man. Is is uh is everybody on board or both sides of family on board with it? Super cool family. Yeah, yeah. her family's fantastic. My family loves her. That's good. Uh, she's a nurse, so she brings a great uh, apocalypse skill set. I told her that the other day. She goes, "What do you mean?" I was like, oh, "I'll worry about when the time comes. We don't need to talk right now. <laughs> you can do sutures. You can go stitches. Like that's my queen. Right, that's right. Me. Yeah, exactly." <laughs> No, oh. I'm really squaring me around needles and she's really good at giving IVs. So she's always like checking me out. She's like, Oh, I would hit this one in your neck. I'm like, please <laughs> get, get off of me. Boom. That's a nice vein there, baby. Uh, Dude, she, she tell me, I could, she's like, I could put it in your forehead and hit a vein. I'm like, you're lying to me. And maybe, maybe she did say it. <laughs> um, Nader says, treat him like a potion stamp, lick it, stick it and ship it. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I've you been know, to- <laughs> Uh, there's, there's mail order brides that are available. Yeah. Uh, and I think that would be a great business model, but I think there's some ethics issues there. (laughs) So if let's leave it at this, if the the lick was consensual, that's cool. Yeah. The rest can follow. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Just just... keep me updated. Tater. Appreciate you. (laughs) (laughs) He's he's kidding. He's been together for 10 years with his partner. So there you go. Tater Tater has jokes. Tater has jokes. He's he's just out here. Tater, you are a testament to love (laughs) and extremes. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, yes, indeed. Uh, Just because I worked at Chippendale. Wait, you worked at Chippendale? Damn, that's tight. They're the worst chicken tenders I've ever had. <laughs> we, were you dancing or were you cocktail waiter? I, I, no, I was enjoying the scene, baby. I was, <laughs> I was in it, baby. I was there for what I thought would be good tenders. <laughs> I'm here for the tenders, all right? Keep walking, sweetie. <laughs> Always order food at the strip club. So if someone you don't know or you don't want to know comes in there, you can just be like, I'm here for the food, baby. I'm just here for the food, baby. Is here for yeah. the em- emphasis on yeah, great blue cheese, <laughs> good blue cheese <laughs> cocktail. Yeah, emphasis on the cocktail. Yeah, uh, all right. Nader's Nader's is going there. <laughs> he's going there. He, he's not stopping. Uh, no, that I, I think that's really sweet. And so, are you guys planning to do like a big wedding or a little wedding? What, what's the plan there? Uh, I gave him my guest list. She decides final number depending on what like. You know, both families very involved. We're gonna have some some family help on on throwing the soiree. So yeah, right. I just got chip my first one draft picks. You know, my my <laughs> my drunk friends will understand that I don't want them to come to a church ceremony where they assume there's an open bar, <laughs> and then they're just sober and mad. So I'm like, we'll see you next week. We'll party. Yeah, we we, we got a separate party for you. <laughs> Yeah, we got exactly. a separate party for you. We're going to Dave here. and Buster's. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Hooters. We're going to celebrate. <laughs> fucking, we're all going to Hooters, all right? Just don't worry about it now. Uh, so, so okay, then, Then of course, the natural question and the natural progression is, do you guys want to have children? Are you guys looking? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah? You, you, it's, it's... I'm looking for a family band uh, at a cheap cost. Naders. Uh, you know? <laughs> Naders, thank you for those biddies, my friend. Thank you so much, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to do it. You know, you you could be as scuzzy as you want in here, Naders. You could be as scuzzy <laughs> as you want. You know, I don't give a fuck. We're going to Hooters <laughs> after this, goddammit. it. You're gonna get some chicken wings at Hooters. The, the Bring your own cocktail. <laughs> bring your own cocktail. Uh <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> uh so 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 uh you know that's not a normal response from a musician or an artist uh, like i'm like me and my wife have a son but we but we were both selfish artists and we were both like uh you know we had no real intentions in having a baby and then and then we got a, a pleasant surprise uh it looked like matt's ear exploded out of his face well it did it did because <laughs> because we're going to hooters as soon as he heard hooters it was over uh, the pods are just squirting out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> hooters, uh, but 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 you know, like a lot of a lot of artists, a lot of musicians, especially, are are, are you know they're they're kind of scared that it's gonna. Nate Naders, you better stop now. You it's better... raining. It's raining. Uh, <laughs> you better get the man, please. <laughs> you better quit. You better quit now. You hear? Uh, I'm gonna take. Gonna get a plaque. Who wants an engraved plaque? Come on, come on. Forty bitties. This this ain't fucking. This this ain't fucking Patreon, son. Uh, There's no extras here. Uh, But I will take you to Hooters, Naders. Uh, Okay. 
Yeah, more biddies for Hooters. We should do a lot. Dude, we might do an IRL from Hooters. That might happen. That <laughs> might fucking happen. We're going to do a goal. We're going to go to Hooters, and we're going to fucking do a live stream from Hooters. That's going to be, that'll be our community goal there. Uh, but, yeah, the, you know, people, you know, artists tend to shy away from that. But but you're, you're here saying you want you want the whole experience. Why do you? Oh, yeah. What what is it about a family that uh, that that is appealing, especially as someone who travels as much as you do, and and you're on the road a lot, and you're out working all the time. You're a working man, uh, you know. Well, she she and I both come from families where our dads were out, you know, following their career path uh, and on the road a lot. You know, her her dad is in the architecture world. My dad was a sales guy. Mm. Uh, but we also grew up around families that participated and helped a lot. So aunts, uncles, grandparents, like there's com- communities of people to do so. So it's not uh, as uncomfortable as people that might be parenting, you know, as just uh, a, a, an individual or two people. Yeah. So that gives me confidence that we're, we're capable of it. And, you know, my, my nephews came along and I realized how much I would love that generation of like this part of my family. Yeah. And I realized I wanted to participate in that and have my own. And, yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. So man. as as long as we we stop it too, I'm I'm pretty satisfied. If we get <laughs> reckless, you know, somehow end up with 19 children in a in a, in a cabbage farm. It's it's kosher. I get it. Like whatever happens, happens. I'm signed up. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Big family water. <laughs> Sounds like we're having like fights, but oh. I, I can dig it. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes it's a fight, son. It's sometimes it's a fight. You, you, you fuck it. I got I, I, my son is he's a little terrorist, but he's amazing. He's amazing. That's he's, awesome. Yeah, I love him, man. He's so cool. And right now his his little cousin's in town, so he has a little friend, and they're like just hanging out, playing poker, man, and and watching fucking Sonic and shit. It's fucking dope. It's so cool. That's killer, man. You got that blueberry hey, fish? Nice. <laughs> blueberry fish. Yeah, Nader's okay, got okay. that blueberry kush going, so he's he's just feeling froggy. He's feeling froggy. Good on you. Yeah, man. Burn it while you can, fam. Hey, for real. No, I I, I recently stopped smoking weed and and and, and doing weed. I, I quit doing the weed, um, and and it's been actually pretty nice. It's been pretty nice to take a break because like the pandemic came and I was like all in, man. Like all that stimmy. <laughs> Bro, that stimmy money went right to the trap shops in, in, in fucking Detroit. I was just like, give me your weed. Give me that shit. I just, I'm just i smoking it all because, I don't know, pandemic was weird, obviously. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I stopped smoking and I stopped eating it. And, and I, I honestly, my, my attitude's better. I've been getting better sleep. I've been just doing I think I was just going too hard on it, man. I, I don't know. You know, you can just go too hard on things even if they're natural. Absolutely, man. I, you gotta have that balance, and and like you know, and like for yourself, when you want to take a break, like that's yeah. that's the best part of it to do it on your own terms. If can make it fun, and you can always come back to the game. Nothing hey. hurts that. But uh, hey. you step out, and you're like, oh, it's kind of nice out of here. It is. Yeah, I did it myself. I did it myself. Uh, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> that's how we do it, baby. So, are you? Uh, uh, how how long? How extensive is your your tour this this run? Or are you doing a, a weekend warrior run? What what what's the? Ex- so, just a weekend. Uh, we're we're doing like one one week uh, with the trio month, one week solo acoustic a month. Mm. You know, sometimes it ends up being five days, sometimes just two days whatever works out for the schedule, but uh, we're out all summer promoting uh, this new live album that yeah. comes out on July 15th. It's called the big crash. Big crash. Uh, and we'll be dropping like the video series of it along the way throughout the summer. But uh, all the music will come out. And it's also on uh, there's the stream available now with radio artifact. What is that? Radio artifact is the venue that recorded. Oh, they okay. also do live streams of all their shows. Oh, and so then we should have a live stream going up from Howard's tonight as well. Oh, no shit. Where is it going to stream at? Uh, I think on Howard's page. I will double check that. Hopefully I can get it out of my Insta if anything. Hold on. Let's see. Howard's Club H. Wait, is that what it's called? He knows. He knows. Yep. H Club. Club H. 
Yeah, I've been I, I, I've been around the block. Uh, it's twenty see. minutes from you, dog. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I'm in Waterville actually. It's it's it is about fifteen minutes away. But uh, again, I I have a prior engagement, which is I have to go filming, and this is actually for money, so I have to go out there and hustle this ass, well, baby. I, I can't read the comments, but if, if someone there knows that he's full of shit, lying to me, please <laughs> please come forward. <laughs> please shake him down. <laughs> oh shit, please. No, uh, I I Jeez. you know what. Man, I, I'm I'm gonna say it here. I'm gonna come to your show tomorrow at the Village Idiot just so I can be okay. held accountable. Yeah. Okay. That's I'm gonna I'm do it. I, I, I'm gonna go two nights in a row to the Village Idiot just to fucking say I did it. I don't I don't go out anymore anyways. But to support some live music, why the fuck not? Uh, does Matt ever come to? We don't say, go until ten. Yeah. Yeah, ten o'clock. Yeah, so so just to warn you, I'll probably have to leave around eleven ish because I have to wake up and totally go understood. right back to work. But you will get that five dollars at the door, son. Um, let's see. Appreciate you, dog. Oh, of course. St. Louis is that what uh, Tater brought up? Yeah, yeah. Do you ever go through St. Louis? I do go through St. Louis every once in a while. I'll play at the Tin Roof there. I play the whole Tin Roof circuit. Oh, okay. Uh, we got nothing coming up right now, but we're we're doing the Kansas City store, so we'll be stopping through at some point. Uh, and we'll, yeah, we'll definitely be back out there. We're also going to be in Milwaukee for Summerfest. Hey, if any of your followers out there? Yeah, there you go. If anybody's in Milwaukee, stop by, say hi. Of course, I dropped the links to Matt's link tree, so go in there and stay up to date. You can always follow him. And if you're listening on the audio, make sure you're in the show notes, bitches. Get in there, click around. Don't Damn. be fucking around. Just Damn. get in there. Uh, the tin roof circuit. That's interesting. There's a tin roof in San Diego. Did you play that? I did. I played that store. I used to do that and a club called Skyloft out in Laguna Beach. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man. The, 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 so the Tin Roof, the last time I played, it sounded like I was playing inside like a fucking warehouse. It was just like echoing and shit. I tried to... I tried to do um I tried to do like a live video from there and like the audio was just so fucking terrible I couldn't even use it. Yeah. So, <laughs> but but you it's gotta a good get time. direct feed from the board, baby. Yeah, well that was the whole thing. I, I was I was yeah. recording fucking room mic and it was just like bleh. uh No oh, chance talking. <laughs> yeah, it was it wasn't great. It wasn't great at all. Much love and uh gotta go. Okay, Nader, you have a good night. Thank you for all the biddies. Thank you for all the conversation, all the all the bands and stuff. Thanks and, for the love, Nader. Yeah, man. You you take care and you you, you you uh you take care of yourself now, you hear? Uh but yeah, man, the I, the tin roof though, like it's interesting how you can play like a circuit of shows. Is that something that do you have a booking manager or do you do all your booking? We we have a couple of independent like agents that will mm-hmm. call for certain markets and then we do a lot of ourselves. So it's it's a hodgepodge of things. Yeah. And, uh you know, the tin roof is was one of like the first uh like multi venue kind of companies that I could play with. Mm. Uh, a lot of people deal with like Cine- City Winery is a great circuit mm. that people play. Uh, yeah. So, but, you know, just trying to find clubs like that, you know, that's really the intention behind having two weeks of touring a month. The solo acoustic run kind of feeds us to do a little bit more risky of options, you know, less overhead and uh, then follow up with the band and just try to find markets that can pay well and support us doing the original thing, man. Hell yeah, man! That is awesome. Yeah. So, so right now you have the trio out. Yes. Yeah, we got the trio out. It's myself uh, on bass and my buddy Kevin McClellan, who's now living in Nashville, and then uh, my drummer Nick Hack. Nice, Nick. <gasps> yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Hit with the Ric Flair, baby. Hit <laughs> with the Ric Flair. Thank you, Raider, for for that Nature Boy moment. Uh, th- no, man, I, I I like the idea of a power trio. I like that. Do you do you, uh? Do you, so when you're in, in your home base, is that when you usually break out the 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 horns and the and the and the well, keysies and? We offer the configurations everywhere we go. Like uh, last night, we had the horn section out in Cleveland. Nice. So we'll just bring in the horn section separately, and uh, it, it, it's kind of like um, we offer from one to. 10 to 12 pieces. Wow. So we can bring in female vocalists and all that. After a certain amount of people, it gets a little less organized. But, uh... <laughs> It's whatever people want to pay for, man. I'm I'm always willing. I feel that, dude. Like uh, I I I still tour with a reggae band. Once, well, not, not so much since the pandemic, but uh, sometimes I'll fly out to California and do like a run with those guys. And 
you know, depending on what it is, like uh, fucking reggae bands can have like twenty people in it. It's like by the end oh, of the night, dude, it's reckless. <laughs> yeah, you, it's just like this fucking big sound of shit coming out of the speakers, and also at the end of the night, everybody gets like five bucks. It's like, all right, guys, five bucks. Uh, but five bucks, baby. <laughs> five bucks and a tab. Uh, Goes a long way. Go. You guys walking outside? Sorry, brother. No, do you think? Uh, what time is it now? 5.50? Uh, brother, it looks like I got to get dressed for the gig and head over to Howard's. For sure, man. Well, Matt, I appreciate you uh, doing this. You know, uh, I don't know if you have time, but are you going to do the shotgun of warm beer or what? Are you going to do this? Or no? uh, if, if you're going to be back, if you're going to be on for the next 20 minutes, I'll get changed, walk down to the car, come back in for a shotgun, then we'll uh, depart from there. <laughs> you know what? Do your thing, man. I was just fucking with you. Do your thing. Brother, I, 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 I will reach out to you in about 20 minutes, okay? Okay. <laughs> well, let's, All right. Let's fair enough. All right, brother. Goodbye you, temporarily, beautiful people. <laughs> all right, man. You be good. I'll talk to you. All right, guys. You heard it here first. <laughs> Matt's gonna come back. We we might just end stream though, just just to, because you know. Do we need to see? Uh, do 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 we need to see him shotgun a bit? This has been such a strange stream. I feel like this has been such a strange interview. At least like I I, I feel uh, like it's just been uh all over the place, but it, it's been good. It's been good. and we didn't even talk. <laughs> Moving Dutchman, no, you don't. And <laughs> Moving Dutchman's like, bitch, you gotta fuck. We gotta see the shotgun. We gotta see the shotgun. Uh, look at that. Thing. What the fuck is happening? Look at that, <laughs> Moving Dutchman. Look what you did. Thank you, Moving Dutchman, for those five hundred biddies. You, you kind, kind. Hello, sir. Moving Dutchman. This is Gandalf. Thank you for all that you do for this channel, and always remember. A moving Dutchman is never late, nor early, but arrives precisely when he means to. There it is, moving Dutchman. That that's for you, baby. Ah, Bezos, Bezos. Uh, so yeah, we we uh, this is this was a strange stream. Okay, well, well, since moving Dutchman has spoken, we will we will hang in there, and we will we will uh, we'll give it a bit before uh, we take off and we'll see if he hops back on and, and gives us that warm beer <laughs> that warm beer shotgun uh so yeah we matt is a uh, i met matt through a booking agent and then he just reached out to me personally and was like yo can i just come on again i'm like fuck yeah matt's so cool last time we were talking about, i can only remember what we we're talking about here's the problem with um here's the problem with uh doing so many podcasts in a year or in, in, in a lifetime, it's like, I don't even remember what I was talking about. It's like, I, I, I don't really even listen to my past podcast anymore because it's like, um, I, I, I can't stand the sound of my voice. But I, I should, honestly, just because I need to get better. I need to get better at what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, the, 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 the whole, uh, I, I wish I could remember what I talk about more because I learned so much from other people. And that's what's so great about this show is that I get to learn a lot about what other people do, but then I promptly forget. So, you know, good times, <laughs> good times. Uh, you know, I have, uh, what, what do I have here? I have a bit of music news that, that is kind of interesting. Um, do you guys know, have you guys heard about Rihanna being pregnant? Well, Rihanna has a name for her baby. And I want you guys to know what it is. Um, hey. So here we go. We're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of uh, music news here, and uh, and here's why Rihanna ASAP are keeping their son name a secret if they're already trying to have baby number. No, you already said a name. Hold on. They call him Baby Riri. No. I thought I thought it was out, Raina. Where did you see the name? Oh no, there it is. Mighty, mighty! How dare you? And you know what, mighty, mighty? You know what's gonna happen now, don't you? You know what's gonna happen now, don't you? Hello, mighty, mighty. This is Jean Claude Van Damme, and I want to give you a huge thank you. A big old splits and the <laughs> as a thank you 
for all that you do for this channel. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So R Rihanna and her boyfriend is. They finally revealed the name of their son, and uh, and so we're gonna go over here and watch a video on it, and uh, we might as well talk about some news. The past the time here, right? Oh, get out of here. Hold on. So wait a second. No. Okay. So here we go. Saproki welcomed their first child on May 13th. They were blessed with a healthy baby boy, and Rihanna has finally revealed his. And Rihanna has finally revealed the baby's name. I like this this girl's accent. Hold on. Name for the first time. Just days after giving birth, Rihanna has big plans for her baby's future, and the first one is to move out of Los Angeles. Rihanna is reportedly planning to raise her baby son in her native country of Barbados. According to the Mirror, Rihanna and ASAP will remain in Los Angeles for the next three months before moving back to the Caribbean. According to her family friend, Rihanna wants her baby boy to grow up away of the world of show business, media and paparazzi. The source said it. Yo, that is such a good move. That is such a solid move. It's like, get your baby the fuck away from that shit, man. Because that, it just seems like, you know how like, I was just listening to a podcast where they're talking about Marcus Aurelius. Aurelius? Aurelius? What's his name? He was the, he was a Roman, uh, a Roman, uh, shit. He was in charge. I can't remember. Emperor. I think he was the emperor, right? And, um. They were talking about how successions of kings, um, when when it's their sons, it usually is when shit goes tits up. And so what's interesting is is that um, there was f there was a, a time period in Rome where it was the five good kings or something, and it was all they they attributed it to in part by none of the kings had direct descendants as successors. Thank you, uh, Morgana, Marcus Aurelius. So they attribute to the five good kings, and that's when Rome really thrived. That's when Rome was really on top of their game. And um, and they, they attributed to them having no direct descendants as successors of the throne. And it was always like, uh, you know... Um, friends or or adopted sons like because i think marcus aurelius was an adopted son i believe and so uh what ended up happening is marcus aurelius's son who to, who if you've anybody ever seen gladiator he's the character that joaquin phoenix played and apparently joaquin phoenix's character was even uh they downplayed how big of a psychopath he was and so what's weird about you know when you look at modern day um you know celebrity they are treated as such right they're like kings of their own of their own empires of their career and you see this a lot when they have children and and then if they go into the business they end up burning out or sputtering out and these kids can turn out like turds they have no real responsibilities they never really have to be challenged in life um, and, and that sort of leads to people who have no accountability. It, it just seems like they grow up to uh, be, uh, I don't know, have this sense of entitlement and have this sense of, of superiority. And it, it does seem like uh, Com Commodus was, is, his, is the son. Okay, so yeah, that, that you know, if you guys remember Gladiator, Commodus was a, uh, was a turd. And so... I feel like Rihanna taking this uh, and, and taking her, her child away from this Hollywood and the glitz and glam and stuff. And, and I have very little experience with Hollywood. I've played some gigs up there, played some cool gigs up in Los Angeles. I've done some TV work, you know, playing on TV and stuff, playing music. But I've ne I was never in it. But San Diego has like that vibe, that whole like, it's just a lot chiller and there's way more military. So just being in that proximity, just being in that, like, and, and being in show business out West in Southern California is just, it's, it's, it's very vapid. It's very, it's very, you know, it's very me show. It's very, it, it, I, I can feel it. I know I, I wasn't directly in it, but when you see it from the outside, even it, it, it is, it is a very, um, it's traumatic. I you know, like it, it's, it's, it's warfare out there, son. So I, I do, 
understand a little bit on why you would want to take your kids away from that kind of environment. Um, I, I, it, it's not, it's not a place to to raise your children. And like when you see, like Kanye West and Kim Kardashian's children, like there's already the the little girl, the like I think it's the oldest girl is already like showing signs of like I'm Kanye West and Kim Kardashian's daughter. Look at me, and she says this shit right. She knows exactly who she is. She knows what her privilege is in life. And I could just see her growing up to, and, and just crashing and burning, man. Uh, what, Tom Hanks' son, Chet Hanks. We all saw what happened to him. He he started started his own little reggae project. <laughs> but you see this a lot, you know. You see this a lot with Hollywood kids, or even kids who grow up in the system itself. Uh, 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 like Macaulay Culkin is like one of the exceptions to the rules, right? Uh, even though he he like he he divorced his parents, you know, he, he his parents were trying to take him for a ride. I mean, could you imagine your own parents trying to rip you off in the way that they did? So I I completely see how twisted this that that mentality is, and I could see the whole. It, it's such a good idea for them to 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 take their child away from that. And give them some sort of route somewhere where, like, especially because it's, you know, it's Barbados, it's their home. I'm sure she has a family down there that, that you know, it's a good, it, it's, I, I really do think that's a, the best idea they could have went. So, <laughs> Matt is back, baby. Matt is back. So, let's bring Matt back on here. And we'll finish the story after Matt's done. Oh, that. He's back, oh, it's baby. It's time, bro. It's, he's it's time. I got I got my tour manager Jordan here with me. Hey, tour manager, what's up, baby? Uh, I still got you in the headphones, so we can't hear you, dog. Okay. So we're gonna keep it in the dark. I'm gonna tell. Him. He said some pretty nasty things. You didn't start <laughs> off well. Here we go. Oh, it's this is so warm. <laughs> Hot tamale. Well, we want to say thank you, to the beautiful listeners of We Speak English Good podcast. Keep the biddies flowing. Take care of your loved ones, each other. Friends, family, affiliates, uh, neighborhood watch. I gotta get my finger under this shit. All right, we're good to go. Send it, Shoot, baby. <laughs> Brother, you are loved. Thanks for having us on. Uh, if you're in the area, catch us tonight at Howard's, tomorrow at the Village Idiot. More tour dates online. Matt. Let me know when I can come see you again. Of course, anytime, man. You are always welcome here. Everybody, give a round of applause for Matt Waters. Let's go! Thanks, Thanks. everybody. Love you. Peace out, brother. Peace, player.